Following a research resurgence in COVID cases, the Ghana Health Service has begun its drive to ensure more people receive the COVID vaccines. The past week recorded 31 new cases with symptoms aching to a flu. It's not epidemic of public health importance anymore. It's like the flu. Luckily for us, everybody knows about COVID. The education has gone down. All our health professionals know how to diagnose COVID. So that is what government is relying on and using. Yet, while word has gone out about the rise in cases, some members of the public remain unshaken. They should have proved it. You need to see you know, patients you know, of that sort before you know, it can be proven. Because if maybe somebody is affected with HIV, definitely we need to see the physical appearance for you to see that you know, this person is affected with HIV. About three months ago, I heard this news, but myself, I don't have any proof. Many have questioned the efficacy of the vaccines due to the requirements for booster doses. However, the manager of the expanded program on immunization at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Kwame Amponsachianu, says such requirements are not isolated to COVID alone. With many vaccines, especially those that are not live, you know, COVID vaccines are not live. It doesn't contain any of the, the virus that types and in terms of it being live. And so just like any other childhood vaccination or vaccines that you know, for those that are not live, you usually will need booster doses from time to time. So if the COVID vaccination is not new, it's not, it's not an isolated case. The Ghana Health Service is urging members of the public to partake in the ongoing COVID vaccination campaign. The exercise which started on May 4 is set to end on May 10, 2024. Meanwhile, the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament says it has received the audits into government's expenditure on the COVID-19 funds and it will be sitting on it this year. James Kluche Aveji is chair of the Public Accounts Committee. I can assure you that the report of the Auditor General on the COVID-19 expenditure is before the committee. It will be sitting on it. Once the report is referred to, I will work on it. And we are definitely going to sit on it this year. Judith Brown, TV3 News.